Hello out there. First, I'd like to welcome my two new subscribers whose names never showed up. I welcome and thank you. I wish YouTube would fix that little glitch. Hopefully. Well, today I thought I'd do a little video on um, Dr. Grabo pipes. A little one. And today I'm going to be smoking some Norman Rock, Rockwell fishing. And some pipe I'm going to be smoking out of. I smoke only aromatics. I'll be doing it out of my Dr. Grabo Westbrook. A little. Yeah, it's got the stinger, of course. Some of your Dr. Grabo's do. Now, I guess just for a little bit of history, uh, Dr. Well, it's been, been pronounced two ways, Dr. Grabo and Dr. Grabo. I'm fine either way. Sometimes I'll see, say either one. Usually I say Grabo. The company's been around since the 1930s. Before it was Dr. Gribo, it was Linkman's. And they were out of Chicago. And they were there for a while. And I had to look this up. Yes, there was an actual lie of flesh and bone Dr. Gribo. I've seen a, I had to look him up on an internet. That was the only way I could find, find out if he was an actual person or not. Yes, he was an actual flesh and blood living person. And he was actually a doctor. They showed some photographs of him. Real dignified looking gentleman. He lived to the ripe old age of 97. I think Doc, the name Dr. Grabo started as just a um, pipe model line. Well, they stayed in Chicago for a while. Uh, I think they moved their manufacturing to North Carolina. I don't know if it's before or during World War II. Uh, I think it was, of course, for access to uh, getting mountain laurel, which is another good wood used for pipe, pipe making. Because in that time, during World War II, briar was a little scarce in this country. You could get very little to none for the pipe makers. And of course, um, they weren't the only American pipe makers. You had Kay Woody. I think the Yellow Bowl's part of them. Uh, custom built. They were known for making fine briar pipes. And thanks to Ethan Parsimonious Piper, this is the only way I learned about, about these pipes, is Pipes by Lee. And out of all of them, I'd have to say, uh, just for the, I guess, overall looks, I think Pipes by Lee's probably got, got Grabo be, beat hands down looks. And I think there's one more pipe maker out there, smaller operation. And by the way, um, when briar was scarce, it wasn't just Mount Laurel. I don't know which company 
was using to look this wood. Well, as far as I know, out further, way further out west, on especially California, you have manzanita. And they thought about that for a while, use it for, for making pipes. They were going to call it Mission Briar. But it never took off. Now, I've got a small number of gray bows. I had a bigger, a little bigger collection. I gave a couple of them away. And as with um, the Dr. Gray bows, it, their trademark is always a spade. Excuse me a minute. Now, do I like Dr. Ribo? Of course. My first briar pipes, my first two briar pipes, which I lost a long time ago, decades ago, were Dr. Ribo's. I'm not sure how I end up losing them. All right, um, well, with most, um, Dr. Ribo's, the the spade is usually white. I think um, mainly um, what kind of builds you on know, like a basic, basic model where you can just pull or just twist out a little bit, put a filter in. The stingers models. Uh, do you have the adjustomatics? All right, do you, some of them have would have a different color, and they're all been made for a certain time, of course. Now you have blue. I've seen one, but I couldn't get my hands on it. Somebody beat me to the punch. It was at a flea market. I don't know if they actually smoke pipes or just collect, see it, or to collect or just buying it to resell. Uh, there are bl there's black. And I think they're supposed to be Grabo seconds. Now, two of the ones I have that are different, different than my white is my little Dr. Grabo Starfire, yellow. Yeah, it's a little adjustomatic, which means I guess when you take it apart, when you put it, when you put it back together. It should be flocked just right, no matter what. All right, there we go. I picked that up for like a little over three bucks. Pretty good find. Oh, 
also means you can twist until you get it aligned just right. There we go. Now my best find for any pipe. Besides my first Peterson. Would be the one I'm smoking right now. And that's the Dr. Gerbo Westbrook. Yeah. I guess um, some of them could be red. But orange. I know orange for sure. And from what I know about this. Um, I think um, orange was reserved for just for Westbrook. Or Westbrook and one other model. And this one. I picked up for like six bucks out of the same flea market I got out got that Starfire from. And it was unsmoked. Whoever got it, I guess just lost interest in it. Because this is the original box it came in. Of course they tore um a little bit off the top of the the address, not the actual address itself, just his name. I can make out his last name, Young. And he lives in, he lived in Ozark. In Ozark, which is about headed west that way. And you're pretty damn close to Sport Smith. And, um, I'd say, if I remember right, Westbrook was made in, from 19, like, ni mid, 1955s, late, mid-50s, up, I think, until about the mid-80s. I think this one was milled to this person during the 1960s, sometimes in the 60s. Possibility of very early 70s. Because all the paperwork is still here. You know, their promotions. Yep, this is for the Sculptura. Yeah, it's one of the, one is the regular flush, the other one is the wide, bright aluminum band. And it's available in the listed shapes in either flush or banded. The Sculptura pipes will feature our famed Adjustomatic screw stem. Below you'll find a wide section of shapes in which the Sculptura is offered. Four bucks and eight coupons oh yes yeah I've... so this one was a hell of a find now with some of the Dr. Grabo's uh... They had names for like um, royal titles. There was a bunch of them for, who took their names from model cars that were out. Like the Starfire. I think the Riviera is one of them. There was a nice little list of them. They were named after car models. Uh, Westbrook, I don't know. It sounds like a name of a common subdivision here in the U.S. Oh, where do you live? 
I live in the, the exclusive neighborhood of Westbrook. And there's a couple others. One really worth mentioning, I guess, would be silver. Now, I don't know what models that you find the silver on. But from what I know, those are the silver spade. Uh, they were rare. Very rare. So, I guess... They'd be really sought after. And yeah, you can put your money on it. They're going to be highly collectible. Um, is Dr. Grubo still worth having? Yeah, I don't say much money-wise because they're not as cheap as they used to be. You can just about buy, um, oh, don't want a, a little bit extra money. You can buy yourself like a Rossi Victoria or a Molina, maybe a Morgan Bones or a Crown. It'll have better stems. That's the one complaint I do have. I mean, it's not much of a complaint, but... Most uh, Grabo's stems are just a basic plastic. Uh, not all of them, just most of them. My favorite Dr. Grabo, my Royal Duke, has a vulcanite stem. The plastic stems are good. It's have to be a little bit more careful with them. I've seen few and few flea markets that look like they've been, been used as chew toys. And that's it. I have to say they'd be fun to collect. So if you want to collect them, that'd be a fun, be a fun treasure hunt. There are good part of American pipe smoking history. All right. Now, I forgot who. I heard, um, uh, somebody was, wanted people to do a VR for his gall. Shout out a couple of few people who have under 300. I don't really want to enter the gall, but I'll do it. It'd be my pleasure, you know, to take part in helping this community. Um, I'd like to give a shout out first to 68 Gunner and to Texas Scent. Please drop in and give these fellas a sub. They're pretty nice fellas. Okay, that's all I got for now. Uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you for dropping in.